wondered the same thing, and, and Lisa Sue, who, by the way, is a distant cousin of your Yeah, family, she's terrific. The yeah, she's terrific. The, the way they've set this up, though, um, of giving it away, they're also making some big assumptions that their chips are going to be able to compete with your chips that are coming out down the road. Do you think that's the case? Well, you know, our chips are uh, quite special, and uh, we're running really fast. We're the only company in the world today that, that builds all of the chips inside an AI infrastructure. And today, back when we first started, uh, five years ago even, an Ampere chip or a Hopper chip is just one chip. Today, if you want to build one of these AI supercomputers, it takes a, a whole bunch of different types of chips to get the performance out of it because, you know, Moore's Law, the transistor itself is really slowing down. <laughs> and we want to create those X factors of performance increase every single year and we're delivering these new systems every single year and every year is multiple times faster than the last generation in order for us to do that we have to optimize the entire ai infrastructure that supercomputer is the most com complex computer the world's ever made and we optimize across all of that design new chips every year so one chip alone is not probably going to be able to deliver the type of results we do and uh, but anyways uh, they're a really good company and we take them very seriously and we Mike Cruz, I'm a portfolio manager, co-founder of Asylum Trading, and I only have about a minute to explain why that clip that I just showed you is very important, okay? We had an era, we had an era of, of Moore's Law where the narrowness of, the, of, the, of the, the wiring, of the etching on a chip allowed more and more calculations to be done within a confined space. If you are running electrons down a circuit, the narrowness of the circuit contributes to speed. You can only go so narrow before there's no room for another electron to go down the flow. Jensen Wong and NVIDIA are not building a better chip. They have an entire system that delivers the end compute. And that system consists of a large number of components that are connected to do the computing. AMD doesn't do that. Intel doesn't do that. Nobody else does that. If you want to compute twice as fast in six weeks, they need a whole new system that gets tweaked all over the place. It's like baking instead of cooking a steak. Any jerk can cook a steak, throw it on the fire, look at it. When your belly says bite, bite. Baking requires exactitude. If you change one thing, you got to change everything else perfectly to get an end product that you can eat. NVIDIA is not going to get caught. They're a monopoly. They are an AI monopoly. AMD is not going to catch NVIDIA. They're not playing the same game. 